What's going on, guys? Y'all remember that triplex? Well, I'm gonna update you guys. Real advice. Real money. Real boss. It's real talk. Real talk. Real talk. Real Chevy. Real boss. Real advice. Real moves. Don't watch. You lose. Get leads. Find deals. Real Chevy. Got skills. Real value with low cost. Real Chevy with real talk. Yeah. It's real talk. It's real talk. Yeah, we get in there. No, we get in there. Hey, cause you know they got some stuff that you can spread. Oh, and them toes, don't make it look white, white. Don't even worry about all that. We gonna make sure that's that's handled. So. If you don't want all them, bless you. I I think it was like um, three weeks ago, three or four weeks. Nope, it was probably like a month ago that I bought a triplex. Like a month, month and a half ago, I bought a triplex, and triplex was in like shambles. Floors was messed up, um, windows busted, um, doors need replacing, and um, bathrooms looking crazy right well halfway through the project right now and i wanted wanted to up, update you guys on how everything looked now right so this is what the floors look like let me show you so this is the floors now so we just put down laminate floors and um we're fixing the we're fixing to put a new window so we still got the boarded up windows so we're gonna fix the windows um paint right now um we're going to redo the kitchen of course bathroom of course right so something so something like this right let me let me let me let me break it down for you guys let me sit on down real quick let me uh let me explain how this real estate game work man because a lot of people they like man i don't understand how real estate work how do i get into real estate the whole nine right well here here's the here's the here's the notion of it one or two things to happen, right? You can do real estate with your own money or you can do real estate with other people's money. And what do I mean by other people's money? You have, you might have your aunt, your uncle, someone, someone that's been at their job for quite some time now. And they probably have money in the, in their, in that 401k or the IRA or whatever, or, or the IRA or whatever, wherever they have their money stashed at, but it's just there. Right, it's not growing, it's not not doing much for them. And what you could do is you could you could let your aunt, your cousin, your sister, or that that neighbor, that person that just have their money just sitting in a bank or sitting in their in their right retirement account, you could just let them know, look, how about instead of you instead of you just having your money sitting there not growing, not getting no interest. How about if you were, if we were to 
invest money, right? Invest some money and I'll give you a rate of return of 10% or, you know, even at 5% is still better than the banks. So if you're able to find someone that's willing and understand the concept of money, that money don't grow by the sitting, money is going to grow if you're using it, right? So money only grows if you're using it. If it's just sitting there, nothing's going to happen to it. So my suggestion is you want to get with someone that obviously has some type of disposable income and they're looking for a rate of return where, you know, real estate to me, guys, it's, it's, it's a, it's a win, win all day, all day. And I say that cause I'm, I'm experiencing it and I'm living it. Um, but to give you guys an update, right? So the triplex, we, we bought it. We, we bought the triplex for three grand. All right. So we bought the triplex for three grand and we're putting the right around three, right around three thirds, three thousand dollars into, into each unit just to get it up and running and in good standings and everything. Right. So it's a triplex. That means that it's three, three units. So before you know it, we purchase it for three. We're going to put 3000 per unit. So we're going to be all in at 12,000. Now we're going to be able to rent out each unit at 500 per. So that means that we're going to, we're going to so have 500 per the first year, right? So the first year, so the first 12 months of renting all these units out, we're going to make back that 12,000 that we invest. So that means that after the first year, now the property is just cash flowing. So year two, we're gonna make another 12 grand. Year three, we're gonna make, a, make another 12 grand. But more importantly though, here's, here's the cool part about this though. You could buy a property, you could rehab it, go to the bank, use it as a collateral, and they'll give you money. Like you could do a refi. You could borrow against, you could borrow against the property. So you could refi out, so if we put 12 into it, the property is worth, let's just say the property is worth 50,000. The banks is going to give you anywhere from 65 to 75% um, as far as what the, what the property is worth. So if you now go to the bank and you say, Hey, I got this property is free and clear and I'm looking to, to bar against it. A, they're going to say, Hey, what's the rent roll is a cash loan. Boom. You show that the property is cash flow and it got tenants in it, that means that you could pay the note back. So even if you get a thirty thousand um, dollar refi at thirty thousand, right? If even if you refi the property at and and pull out some pull out some money out of it and get thirty thousand, right? On a thirty thousand dollar note, you know your money will probably like two or three hundred bucks. On a thirty thousand dollar note, and you bringing in fifteen hundred dollars a month. That's when all day you use all these properties, man, especially for a property that you that you pick up in a low income area. Right. So you can buy a property in a low income area and you could go back to the bank and you could refile. On it. So you could buy a property for five grand and it's worth 2025 and go to the bank and use it as collateral all day. Like you can use these properties as collateral like. It's, it's crazy how they're not teaching us this in school, though. You know, these financial institutions, they ain't even educated. You have a bank, and the bank ain't even telling you about how you could use a line of credit to buy, to buy properties, right? So you got to educate yourself, man. You got to educate yourself. And how do you educate yourself? You got to get, get in these circles. Um, since I've learned about real estate, it's completely changed my life, completely changed my family tree, completely changed how I, how I view things, how I look at things. And that's just because of the mindset that I had to level up on. I had to level up my mindset and I had to level up on the people that I, that I was keeping around me. <laughs> so, so yeah, man, um, this triplex that we, that we bought. Like I said, we're gonna be all in. We're gonna be all in at probably like around twelve grand, and we're gonna be able to go to the bank, 
yeah, to the bank and um and pull some of that equity out of the property, man. So yeah, man. Good stuff. Good good stuff. Educate yourself, man. Educate yourself. Real estate is definitely a great vehicle to get into. It's a great vehicle because it creates wealth, generational wealth. I'm not talking about just your kids, but I'm talking about your kids' kids and your kids' kids' kids. Like, that's generations that goes deep. And that's what a lot of a lot of wealthy people are here doing it, man. They're, they're out here amassing their wealth through real estate. Um... And you you have to you have to understand the game. You have to understand this game called um called life, man, is that you have to have something to your name for your namesake. You have to have something to your name for your namesake. I'm literally just trying to kill Tom because I, I gotta go downtown and pay this damn ticket that I don't really wanna pay, but it's whatever. They're on lunch right now, so while they on lunch, I might as well just do this. But I was just I was just um having a conversation um uh, with one of my with one of my guys, man. He's he's been in the game now for 60, 60 plus years. And, you know, he was telling me about how he grew up where, you know, in, in the Jim Crow era where, you know, water fountains and schools and, you know, just the segregation was big back then. So I'm I'm just looking at generations and what's being taught. And the difference in what's being taught, and I know, I know for me, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus on teaching as many people as possible this game, and I'm not look, I'm not looking, I'm not looking for, yeah, yeah, I'm, a, I'm gonna teach as many people as possible this game, man, because I think this game will change if, if people, if people could, to, could grow into that financial financial freedom situation where they don't have to worry about a bill getting paid or nothing, right? The stress-free, living the life they want to live, going where they want to go, doing what they want to do. That's the life. That's the life, man. Like, I don't have to make a million dollars to feel like I'm doing some shit, right? I don't. I just have to know that I'm changing people's lives. That's the biggest thing. So within within spite of within spite of of two years, guys, we've been able to successfully carry out eighty plus transactions. And out of those eighty plus transactions, we've been able to acquire fifteen or sixteen properties. And that's that's without going to the bank or you know, showing somebody a credit score or having a credit brand or anything. So that's powerful. And I, I was having a conversation this morning. Hello. Hi. Hey, what's going on? What's going on today? All right now. Yeah. Okay, so who's interested in renting the... Um, My daughter. Your daughter? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. You relate to... Uh-huh, he's closer. Okay. Didn't want to pay his bill, you know that, right? I already know. So, what's gonna be the difference? Uh, with her? Yeah. She ready to move in. She trying to find her own spot. Uh huh. And uh. Okay. She'll pay her. Okay. All now, right. It's just her and her baby. Okay. I'm fixing up the property, so I'm gonna be doing um 500 a month. That's everything paid for. So utilities, water, all that stuff paid for. But I'm going to be redoing the whole thing, but it's going to be available on the first. Okay. So, so 500, everything paid. Oh, mm -hmm. we go. Okay. All right. So what you want to do? I just, I just don't want to run into a situation where, mm -mm, you, you know. You don't run into mm -mm. So what you going to do? You want to walk it, look at it? I'm uh, really... We already been in here. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Just making sure. Just making sure. So we're going to redo the bathroom, the kitchen. You're going to have okay. stove, refrigerator, bathroom updated. Oh. Obviously, the room is already updated. I got one question. Yes, ma'am. She don't need to get no stove, no ice box. No, no, no. I'm going to I'm gonna put all that in here. Yeah. I'm going to put all that Where in here. Where you was before? <laughs> I, I was around. For real, though. I was, I was around. I was just I know, I know, I know, I know it wasn't. That's why I had to come in and take he, care of it. 
Now he paying his rent. Okay. Now he did that because right. I was up to date on our rent. Okay. And but when the crazy thing I was telling you about, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the crazy thing broke these him. Okay. Before you even step a foot okay. yeah, in I'm, him. Okay. I'm gonna make sure we have a window unit as well for the um for the AC, so it's gonna be nice and cool and everything. So. Okay. Yeah. Cause uh, so. Don't have to buy no AC. No, you, you don't have to buy no AC. You don't have to buy no stove. We're going to have stove, countertops, everything going to okay. be good to go. Okay, um, first we're going to get a $500 money order. Okay. In, uh, okay. In so my bank is still here. Thank you, need them away. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get y'all situated. As long as y'all pay, we're going to have, um, I'll, I'll have a lease agreement um, for you guys. Um, as long as y'all. What about the front? I'm bring that out. I'm fixing that up. Once I'm done with this, then I got to make my way to the front and fix that up. So yeah, we're putting you down. this one or the front? Honestly, this okay. one, this one, this one, I'm already like, man. I this, know, this I see, point, I so. see. And then my my daughter-in-law, she won one. Okay. All but right. Now, she going to talk to you on your own about okay. that because she, you know. Work right now. Yeah. Okay. She, you know how they go. But we're going to get this straight away, and then we're okay. going to go to the front, and I'm going to move everything from the front to here. So refrigerator, mm -hmm. stove, countertops. Everything's gonna be good. Then I'm gonna work on the front, get that ready, and uh, we'll be good to go. But look, I'm cool. Long y'all, long y'all pay on time. I don't have no problems. Okay. When okay, I don't pay every month on the first. Okay, as long as you're able to pay by the fifth, because after the fifth, it's late and it's fifty dollars extra. Okay. Okay, but I'll put all that in the lease agreement so y'all okay. good to go. All right. So I don't mind working with y'all, as long as y'all good and y'all pay y'all bills. I'm good. Like I said, everything's going to be taken care of. So water and lights, everything is included. Okay. Only thing you got to do is probably get you some little internet and you straight. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. All right. So let's, um, this is, um, give me a call. Probably like to, I might have it, I might have it, um, ready before, before the first, but just give me a call right around next week and I'll let y'all know what's the pro what's the progress and everything. Okay. Okay. All right. I sure appreciate no you. No problem. I'll see you guys on the first. Okay. All right. So yeah, man. Name the game. Everybody needs somewhere to stay, man. I'm just out here. I'm just out here making sure I do right by my people. That's it. So, you know, uh, I I hear I hear I hear I hear people talking about you can't you can't invest in the hood and you can't do this and do that and low income and all that. Damn that. I gotta do whatever I can to help my people out for sure. So if I need to come in and take over a property that 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 is in dismay and crazy looking and it's not up to up to date because because the landlord don't care and I could come in and do and I could come in and do justice by making sure that it is livable right because that's what it's about that's it man that's it so I'm just out here make sure I'm giving back and I'm focused on that abundance mindset if I think good things, guess what? It's only great and it's going to happen. If I think negative things, that's that's exactly what I'm going to attract. So I got to focus on the good. I got to focus on the good, not the bad. So everybody is good people, man. It's just all about how you treat these people. If you treat them like shit, guess what? You're going to get the same in return. Or if you treat people right, you're going to get the same in return. So that's just the law I live by. That's all it is. So this thing is already running before it even before it even get rented out before it's even done. So I'm excited for sure. So yeah, yeah. man, fix and go pay this ticket. Um, yeah, <laughs> this one, this one. If I, if he, if y'all don't pick up nothing else from following me, man, or from just learning this game called real estate or this life in general, um. You got to operate with an abundance mindset. You got to operate and carry yourself with that notion of doing to people what you want to be done unto you. If you have that mindset, then you're going to go a lot. You're going to last a lot longer in this game. And you're going to be able to, to change a lot of people's lives because you want you want your life to be changed in return. You're going to change people's lives as well. So, yeah. Don't forget YouTube, The Real Chevy. Tons of video on there on how to get started in real estate. No cash, no credit, no realtor license. Instagram, same thing. Make sure you guys follow me, man. It's going to be a crazy journey. 
I'm a year and a half in already already changed just how people does people's perception on on um I'm talking about here in my city man I already changed people's perception on how we operate as wholesalers like wholesalers grown into grown into an investor into an investor type of ordeal but yeah man I, I'm I'm just looking forward to seeing all the different people I make all the different people lives I'm able to change through this journey of you following the moves that we're making because we're making ridiculous moves I thought a year ago we were making moves but like we're really making moves like just making a difference because that's what it's about it's about making a difference so before I was just a, I was just making moves to feed my family now I'm making moves to make sure that my team is winning and everybody's eating around me and everybody's growing and everybody understand that financial literacy right everybody is educating themselves financially on how to win in this game and that's what that's what that's what it is man so I'm really excited so we're gonna be good to go man just stay tuned I got you guys for sure follow the journey because it's not gonna stop it's only gonna get better and you're gonna see a lot more people around us winning around me man for sure I'm gonna holler at you guys.